How smoking damages the airways? Let's consider breathing in a non-smoker first. In a non-smoker, with every breath, air travels through the windpipe called trachea and enters the lungs via the breathing tubes called the bronchi, which further branch into smaller airways, the bronchioles. At the end of the bronchioles are the air sacs, called alveoli, which allow the exchanges of gases. The inhaled oxygen is transferred from the air sacs into the blood and carbon dioxide, the waste product from the blood, gets into the air sacs and gets exhaled through the breathing tubes. Cleaning the air we breathe. Our lungs have a cleaning system to take care of the dirt particles which can enter the lungs through the inhaled air. Our windpipe is lined by special cells which produce the sticky substance called mucus and minute hair-like structures called the cilia which beat upward. Inhaled dirt particles are trapped on the mucus and are pushed up the windpipe by the cilia. You either swallow the mucus or cough it out. Thus the air which reaches your alveoli is clean and the oxygen is ready to be picked up by the blood. Multiple changes happen in the lungs and airways when you smoke. With smoking, the cells that produce mucus grow in size and number. As a result, the amount of mucus increases, which is also thicker. A few seconds after you start smoking a cigarette, the cilia slow down for several hours. Smoking also reduces the number of cilia, so there are fewer cilia to clean your lungs. The lungs and airways have more mucus, which is not cleaned out well. So, the mucus stays in the airways, clogs them and makes you cough. This extra mucus can easily get infected. The airways get irritated and swell. This leads to the narrowing of the airways and reduces the airflow. If you continue to smoke, the airways and the air sacs get damaged and less oxygen is carried to your body. This is the sequence of events which happen with smoking leading to the damage of the air sacs. The harmful particles from the cigarette smoke get trapped in the air sacs. This causes the reddening and the swelling of the air sacs. With continuous smoking, the walls of the air sacs get damaged, causing large air cavities which are lined with carbon deposits from smoke. This causes chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. If you are a smoker, the most important thing you can do to slow the worsening of your COPD is to quit smoking now. Discuss with your doctor on tips to quit smoking.